Okay, I think I got it. I think I am live on both platforms. I am live on YouTube as well as TikTok. And so what I'm going to be doing tonight is I have a pair of anklets that I need to get out. And so while I have a small little break from homework, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But before I go into that, let me just introduce myself. If you are not familiar with who I am, I am the owner and operator of Hankins Heartfelt Creations. I make handmade items for children. I pretty much do any and everything um got some stuff on my screen trying to get off but i pretty much do any and everything from tattoos and tattoo sets to bell bottoms bows um cheer bows cheer signs pretty much almost everything under the spectrum but my favorite things to do are sewing so I am trying to get better at going live on all of my platforms. And if you see me looking in two directions, I have two cameras going because I haven't quite figured out yet how to um, stream on TikTok and YouTube using one device. Um, I did a little bit of research and based off of that, it looks like I need to have 10,000 subscribers to go live on TikTok using some software that I have. So since I don't have that, we just gonna make it work and do what it do. So I am again sewing a pair of anklets. Anklets are one of my top sellers in my shop. Um all the parents love them because they are so cute to dress up any kind of outfit that you may have for your little one. Anything such as anklets. I mean, excuse me, they are anklets, but anything such as bell bottoms or um, leggings, anything of that nature. They just make things so cute. And this customer wanted a pair that is going to be bubblegum pink and silver so i'm just going to go ahead and get my machine threaded for those colors and while i am live if you have any questions about anything feel free to drop those below or if you have any questions about any sizes that i may offer you can leave that below too if you want to see some of the things I have made before in the past, feel free to go to my website. My website is in my bio, and it is HankinsHeartfeltCreations.com. And you will see a lot of the items that I've made there, some of my tutus, some of my bell bottoms. Um, I also made scrunchies. And before I get started, I'm just going to clean out my sewing machine a little bit because... I have been sewing tons of scrunchies over the last few weeks to get ready to do some shows for Christmas. So I have some exciting things that I'll be having come out for Christmas. And I'm going to do my best to go live so I can show you guys those items. They're going to be so cute. I'm so excited about that. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. And hopefully my sugar would be able to come over and help me with those items. That is my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter has also started learning how to sew. She loves it. Right now, I just have her practicing on paper. And she thinks it's really fun. She's already at Santa for a sewing machine for Christmas. I don't know if we need another sewing machine because I already have two. But, hey, if she is interested, I am going to allow her to hone in on that graph. On that craft. So... I'm going to go ahead and get my sewing machine threaded really quick. Again, it is a little dusty for me working on those other items earlier this week. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up or something in, of that nature. I'm also trying to see if I can find myself 
on YouTube on my other device. It looks like I am live over there as well. But I may be having some technical difficulties. So hopefully everything is okay on YouTube. And I was kind of like to squirt with some canned air before I get started. Kind of just get the dust off. And this live shouldn't be a long live because it doesn't take me that long to sew a pair of anklets. But I just want to show you guys the process and how cute they come. Everything that comes out of my shop is homemade. Um, I've even, for some tutu sets, I've even made my own shirts. So it is true homemade. There's nothing mass produced over here. Sometimes I'm working in the wee hours of the night, burning that midnight oil to get those things done. But when you love something, we just have to do what we have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We have our tool. All of our anklets are made out of tool, so it's really soft against the skin. I haven't received any complaints about it being soft against the skin or anything like that. So... No skin irritations have been reported to me. So your little ones should love it just fine. And again, you can wear those anklets with tennis shoes. Um, they're so cute. Some people even wear them without shoes because I don't attach the socks to them. So that gives you another option to wear them however you would like. Whether you want to wear them with shoes or without shoes. I've seen um, some of my customers wear them with um, tights, especially if they live in cold areas. Um, it's just something to bring a little bit more pizzazz to their to their outfit. Um, and also, we can make bows to match them too. So, if you're interested in that, always feel free to send me a custom requests and I can get that done and of course now that I'm live of course I'm going to have technical difficulties but that's okay because that is just real life at the end of the day sometimes we have to throw it our machine a couple times to get things working the way we want it to work and hopefully you guys can see me okay um, I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can see my comments too, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, at least not for TikTok. And I think I'm getting more action on TikTok than I am on the other platforms. So thank you who's all locked on and, uh, and is here with me this evening. I really appreciate you all, especially with it being my first time going live on TikTok. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just not a live going person, okay? But I am trying to get better at that. Because I know sometimes you guys want to see us complete the process and do the order. So let me go get my invoice really quick. Okay, I am back. And my tool is a little tied up. So, this order is for Miss Faye. Miss Faye lives in Germantown, Maryland. Thank you, Miss Faye, for your order. Um, I am on the other platform. She actually placed her order on Etsy. So, Miss Faye, if you ever get to watch this video, this is your sweet baby girl's anklets that I am making tonight. So, I've already cut my tool and all that stuff offline just to make this process a little bit faster and easier. Now, hopefully, you all can still hear me with the sewing machine going. And let me just tilt my camera down so you all can see the sewing machine 
Well, let me turn this one. Too. So, again, I am kind of playing with my cameras, and I'm going to try to figure out what's going to be the best solution for this. Like, I have a light overhead, and so I feel like it's giving me a glare. But hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And my shirt says made in the 80s with the original parts. That's right, 80s baby. So let's go ahead and get these papers done really quick. It always turn out to be so cute afterwards. And I thought that with the seasons changing that most customers want to start looking for fall colors. But it looks like everybody is still interested in pinks. I don't know what it is about pink. I guess pink just does not go out of style at all. And I have different shades of pink that I offer. But tonight the pink that we'll be using is a bubblegum. It's a bubblegum pink. So it's really, really cute. And I will at least take one of these so you can get a feel of the process and what it looks like. And then I will post the final look. Um, I'll try to post it tonight. If not, I'll definitely get it posted tomorrow. Oh, I also want to get a shout, shout out to Kiana Key Braids for braiding my hair. Kind of just show you guys a quick pic. She did a great job. I am loving them. Very low maintenance style, cause I get I normally wear my hair natural, but I get a lot of single, single um strand knots in the winter when it starts getting cold outside. So I decided to do a protective style. And so let's get back into it. So it's it's a lot that goes into these ankles. Like you have to use a lot of materials to get a little bit of fluff, okay? I mean, who doesn't like the fluff? I don't, I don't, I mean, I can make you some droopy anklets if you like droopy, but most customers like the fluff. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this sewed on up, and I'm, what I'm doing, as you see here, is I'm keeping my tool nice and straight. So that way we don't get any tangles or knots along the way. And hopefully that is still a good view for you guys. I guess I can kind of tilt it a little bit. Because I mean, it's really not a tutorial. So we are almost done. So getting the tools done. And then I get to show you guys the color we're going to use. So I've ran out of bobbin, but that's okay. It doesn't take me long to wind up bobbin. And then we'll go ahead and get this winded really quick so we can kind of finish the process. So let me just... Get this set up really quickly. And you're probably not going to be able to see that on camera, but. That's what happens when you sew a lot of scrunchies, you run out of bobbin.
just like that we're already done with a full bobbin we're gonna get everything put back together on the machine so we can continue miss Faye's order I have some other orders that I'm gonna be trying to go online to do as well um I have some jackets that I need to embroider so that's gonna be a fun project as well I don't know how I can set my cameras up for you guys to see that because I don't really have anything to sit anything on over there so I might have to get my daughter to help me kind of get it set up let's get my needle threaded And I'm in Florida. It's getting a little warm in here. I have to turn the air down. Or it could be my nerves. All right. So we're going to go ahead and continue. We got everything back threaded and put back together. And see something here I'm getting a few loops and sometimes when that happens you just need to rethread again really quickly make sure everything is nice and tight like it should be And then I should be back to rolling. Because sometimes you can easily miss a step in this process. And I always want to make sure that whatever I send out, it is perfect. I am so OCD. It's bad. My daughter can vouch for that. My husband too. <laughs> I just have to have things uh, a certain way. And it's okay because, you know, it's, it's my business and it's very dear to my heart. So when I present something, I want it to be top notch. And, you know, due to that, in my Insta shop, I have <clears throat> the majority of my reviews are five star reviews. And that's, and that's the difference between buying handmade and then buying something from Walmart or something, Timu, things of that nature. When you buy something handmade, you know you're buying something that one individual person has done a touch for you. Or it's a small business where it's just family members that's working in that business. And they all have the common goal of, pre of presenting you with something that's made from the heart. You don't always get that can't get that from Walmart and Target. So if you can, always try to support small businesses. Okay, so now we have our tool done. I'm going to show you all the pink that the customer has selected. So we will be going with a bubblegum pink is what she selected. And I have um, different styles of anklets that I offer. Some anklets, uh, some customers request to have glitter on their anklets. Some customers do not. In this case, this customer has requested a bubblegum pink. And so... I'm going to go ahead and get a nice straight edge to get started with. And this is that bubblegum pink. 
but you really can't see it on this screen. So let me try to turn that light. It's just killing it. There we go. You can kind of see it more on this side, but you see how pretty, look how pretty that pink is. So we're going to go with this bubblegum pink. And then she wants this silver to go on top. Look at how pretty that's going to be. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know that light is just... Let me see if I can change it a little bit. No, it doesn't like that. So hopefully you guys can see. There we go. How pretty that pink and that silver looks on top of each other. It's going to be so, so cute. So cute. So now, I'm going to get the pink sewed on top. And Miss Faye is getting close to a finished product. And you know, pinks are, now that I think about it, pinks are really coming back in for Christmas. You know, normally Christmas is, was all about the red and the greens and the golds. And now I'm starting to see a lot more pinks come back in for Christmas. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get Miss Faye's ribbon sewn onto her anklets. Get myself a head start because I normally breeze through this part pretty quickly. So let's go. And don't forget, if you're interested and want to see the other styles that I offer, they are listed on my website at hankinsheartfeltcreations.com. And you can also find my Etsy shop. I think I have both links in my bio. Or you can just send me a DM. Especially if you want something custom that you don't see, feel free to send me a DM. My turnaround time right now on anklets or two, two socks, what some people like to call them, is um, about three to five days. So we're going to go ahead and get this attached. Let me roll out a little bit more material so that way I'm not fighting with the machine later. Should have put my hair up in a bun. Looks like we're sure to get tangled down there. These are homemade right out of my office. And some customers love them so much they order them in like all the colors. So we're on the silver end, and then we're going to go back in with the silver. I'm trying to see if I have any comments down there.
And if you like this content and you want to see what I plan on offering for Christmas, when I tell you I have some cute stuff coming for Christmas, oh my goodness. And I'm really going to try to focus on stocking stuffers, guys, because I know that stocking stuffers is just one of those things that is just hard to find. That reminds me of my daughter asked me to put her on the list for stocking stuffers. But stocking stuffers is just one of those things that are hard to find. Like cute, unique stocking stuffers. And I got some stuff that I want to do. So now we have that bubblegum pink attached, as you see. I have to do that angle for that camera. That angle for that camera. And now I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get that silver added let's get the silver added and then i kind of show you how one of those will look like and i have a ribbon rack on the side of me so that's why you kind of see me reaching over there. I have ribbon on that side, ribbon on this side. And normally when I get done with these, I am full of glitter. But that's okay. Because we love it. I love me some glitter now. All about that bling. So now we're going to get her glitter trim added to the bottom or if you want to add it to the top I can add it to the top too again it's just preference but when I had did my first sample of these this is how I did it I also offer cow print too you can see those on my website as well And I know that sometimes it's scary buying from people that you don't know. So feel free to also visit me on Etsy. And if you do, don't forget to use your coupon code when you come back. I have so many repeat customers and they always forget to use their coupon code. Make sure you use your coupon code. So we're going to get this silver trim added. These are going to be so stinking cute. I always love when customers ask for that glitter. It just adds a little bit more pizzazz to it. It's also, they're also great for pageants too. Like I've had a lot of customers Order these for pageants. Let me see if I can adjust my camera just a tad. My head was kind of cut off over there. Over here too. There we go. So, if you have little ones or know some ones, know some people that are in pageants, tell them to hit me up. Cause these are adorable with the little puffy dresses. I'm telling you, they are just so stinky. So again, we have a little bit more to go. And some people ask, okay, why don't you attach them to socks? So let me explain that process, right? Can I attach the anklets to socks? Yes, I can. I can do that. Do I attach the anklets to socks? No, I do not, and I will explain why. To keep the anklets functioning in the original purpose in the way that you received them the first day you got them, I do not attach socks. Because once you wash them in a washing machine, which most likely that's how you will wash your child's socks, you will not get that same fluffiness. Um, so I recommend that these are hand washed. 
I will say my husband did throw my daughters in the washing machine. I have a daughter that's um, seven. He did throw hers in the washing machine and they, and they were fine. However, he knew not to dry them. So, but did they have that same stand up look that they did um, when I first made them? No. So due to that reason, I do not attach them to socks. Um, also, when you attach them to socks, to me, you just, it doesn't have the same look. And for me, um, I like the look that they provide. I mean, that the way that they look without the socks. And again, that's just going to be a matter of preference. So you know how people say, well, over here at this house, we are going to serve the Lord. Well, over here at this house, we don't attach the socks. <laughs> but I promise you, it's just simple. You get your baby socks, you put your baby on your socks, put her on her socks, and you slip them right on top of the socks. Or like I stated earlier, you can wear them without socks. I've seen some babies, you know taking barefoot pictures with just their anklets on it looks so cute or you can put them on top of tights depending on where you are so again to me you just have a little bit more flexibility also when the socks are not attached so i am getting to the end of adding the silver we don't have too much more to go and again, I really appreciate everyone that has jumped on my live to watch me tonight for the first time. And hopefully I can start going live more often. I'm really trying to get more comfortable with doing it. Because again, it's just not my thing. You more so see me in recorded videos where I'm not saying anything. Um, and my daughter tried to get me to talk all the time and it's just not my thing but I'm trying to get better at that so we'll see how that goes so again we've gotten to the end and I will show you what it's going to look like with this beautiful beautiful silver print on the bottom And this is what we have. Look at that. How cute is that with that silver trim on the bottom? Now, the next step I need to do is add the elastic to bring in the fluff. So, I already cut my elastic, but when i was trying to get set up i don't know where i put it so i'm just gonna recut it really quick because it will come up so We're gonna get the elastic added inside of the anklet now. This is what holds your anklet in place and helps you get that nice fit around the baby sled. My anklet comes in, I wanna say four sizes, sizes and fit. And if you you know if you're not into that big look, then I wouldn't recommend you buying for infants. <laughs> um, some people like that big fluffy look. Some people do not. If you don't, I just recommend that you buy regular ruffle socks at your Walmart. But um, infant, toddler, infant, toddler, child. Okay, so we know toddlers. Stop at 5T, right? If your child is over 5T, don't buy infant. I mean, you know, if your child is 
over over five T don't buy toddler, shall I say? Um, and so as you see now, oh sorry, going back to the sizes: infant, toddler, child, and teen. Adults you can wear the teen sizes. Um, that is the only thing outside of bonnets. Okay. Bandanas, scrunchies, and headbands at this time that I sell for adults. I do not sell adult clothing at this time. Only children. So this is how they are turning out. So we're at the end of my anklets. Somebody is, my husband's calling me. Send him to voicemail. Sorry, baby, I'm live. Hopefully that didn't mess my live up. Looks like I'm paused on the other screen. Um, there we go. Okay. I, do, I don't have, well, I have a camera, but I, I don't know. It just don't work right. So now I'm going to get my anklets untwisted. So we can do the last finishing touch on them. And this is just one. So I'm just only going to do the one on camera for you all. Just so you can kind of get a look into what my life is as a maker, right? So this is my life as a maker getting, working on orders from customers. Um, this is kind of done part-time in my business. I do work full-time during the day, but this is my love right here. I love sewing, especially children's clothing. So now we're going to fluff those out. And I would go get one of my mannequin feet for you all to see, but I did a show over the weekend, so it's kind of packed up. But you will still be able to get the gist of what they will look like. And here is our finished product. Do you see that fluff and that silver? Look at that. Look at that. Look how cute that's going to be on a baby's ankle. But this, this is a child size. So this is a big kid. So it's a little on the big side because it's a big kid. But look how, look how pretty that is. Look, look at that. Look at that silver popping off that pink. Look at that. Gorgeous. So again, these are this is one of the items that I offer in my shop. These are my tutu anklets. They come in a variety of sizes and a variety of colors. If you are looking for custom colors that are not on my website, feel free to send me a DM. I can work with you on getting whatever color you need done. I have tons of colors. I have tons of pinks. Um, I have tons of colors, okay? Um, too many to actually show you in tonight's live, but again, I kind of just wanted to pop on to give you a, just a little insight in my world of what it is that I do. I also want to kind of test out streaming, my way of streaming, seeing that I, I can stream to both platforms at one time um, until I get some dual cameras. I don't know how that's going to work, but um, again, I want to thank Miss Faye for her order. I'm going to go ahead and get you finished up, Miss Faye, so you can get shipped out first thing in the morning. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you give me a like and a follow. Until the next live, I see you guys later. Make sure you be blessed. And don't forget, I got some cute stuff coming out for Christmas that you don't want to miss. See you next time.